All right, welcome to Stake a Podcast, the student edition with the man, AJ. Yes, sir. AJ, welcome to today's uh, episode of Stake a. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, sir. We cannot wait to, le- to learn from you today. Just dip from that well of wisdom. So, Mr. AJ, um, as we, to get ourselves uh, ourselves going, could you kindly share with us a bit about yourself? All right. Okay. Um, I'm AJ, uh, Asanda James, you know, Madonna. I'm kind of doing um, the human resource, a CPUT, T6. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You've heard his name is AJ, Asanda James, yeah. currently studying human resource. Yeah. At CPUT. So, um, before I go, uh, we go any further, what sparkled the interest for you to study um, human resource? resource? Not really. Like, uh, it was not my first choice. I'll say that it was not my first choice. I wanted to do a teaching, basically, but I got accepted for human resource management. So, uh, I also love it also. Yeah. You know, so I was like, nah, let me just grab it also. Yeah. Um, so, basically, uh, you didn't choose human resources. Yeah. But it chose it you. Chose me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, kindly just explain to us what is human resource. So human resource, um, you know, I would say like it's a sub function mm-hmm. of uh, of the organization. If I'm not saying correctly, yeah. You no, know, what do we do as the human resource people? We you know we oversee the business, um, and then you know, the organization. Yeah. But, but we need to train the employees. Uh, we deal with payroll. The relation with the employer and the employees, you no. Know, so we just want to make sure that everything is well yeah. organized, yeah. You know? So that's what we do as a human resource people. In other words, you're basically the glue that keeps the company together. Yeah, because <laughs> the company also mm. to function to get new employees, they need the human resource, you know, people to function effectively. Yeah, awesome. Um, with regards to where you're studying at, at, right? You're studying at CPUT. Yeah, right. Um, how, what are the entry levels to study human resources at CPUT? And how's the curriculum like there in terms of um, from matric into yeah. leaping into varsity? What are the requirements for you the to study? The requirements. Uh, they don't really like looking for like, like big requirements. They just want you to get um, maybe if you have uh, 30% on on mathematics yeah. and on uh, mathematic literacy, yes. we have our fifty percent. And also, if you have like you're studying, uh, if you have a business studies yes. or economic and accounting, they just take you, they accept you. So the core subjects are business subjects and uh, literature. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, you haven't shared uh, which year you're currently doing. Uh, which year are you in right now? If I'm, no, I'm a first year. First, first year. year, yeah, first year. It's quite like a nice experience, you know. In university life is quite ex- nice and amazing. Nice and amazing, so you say. And being first year, how's the transition like from high school into varsity? To varsity, it's kind of challenging, I would say that. Mm-hmm. Because in high school, we don't normally like work with uh, other people, like group assignments. We don't do that. But here in varsity, you have... We have some group assignments, you know, so we, now we have to learn how to, you know, to work with some people, some yes. students, and you know, some children like uh, quite challenging. Yes. They don't want to participate. They don't show up yeah. on the meetings. So yeah, it's quite a challenge, I would say there. I love the fact that you just mentioned group assignments. And yeah. uh, I know for me personally, one of the hardest experiences I had was group dynamics, eh? Yeah. Uh, could you kindly explain to us how did you deal? Have you ever had an issue where you had to deal with a colleague or classmate who is just doing things their own way? And how did you deal with them or how did you overcome that challenge? Yeah, obvious. I mean, like, when I'm here at Varsity to study and yeah. to pass, right? So, in our group assignment, if you're not participating mm-hmm. or you're not showing up and you're not contributing, yeah. I just decided because I once in a group leader. Yes. So these children were just giving me challenges. Like they don't want to show up on the meetings. I said, guys, please do this thing. I'll give them a task. <laughs> they don't want to do it. They will do it late. <laughs> so like, I'm here to pass. I want to pass this assignment. Yeah. So what I would do, okay, if you don't participate, you don't contribute. Yeah. 
there's an option that we write the person's name and the student name and say, well, okay, say that they don't contribute, you know. So I was dealing with that. If like you don't contribute, there's an option that work okay, this student, <laughs> they don't contribute at all. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I was dealing with it. And also like I need to communicate, like encouraging the person, okay, yes. guys, please, we need to pass this assignment. You know, I remember like we had the, recently we had the assignment and it was quite challenging. Like, yeah. We couldn't like get the, like the, you know, mm-hmm. the information. So I was telling guys, we're going to pass this assignment. Yes. We are going to win. So please do this assignment correctly. No, so like it was about that working, encouraging also the other guys. Okay, guys, we are winning. Yeah, it sounds very challenging because it's like uh, not only do you have to, uh, not only uh, do you have to pass, yeah. but you also have to deal with human beings in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, what other subjects that are currently being offered at your uh, varsity or within this course? Like we have our business mm-hmm. application, I'm a computer business application. Then we have our business studies. Yeah. Then we have a human resource development. You know, the human resource development is where like we train employees with development. Yes. You know, but then you know, the business computer application mm-hmm. deals with the computers. You know, the word document, anything that has to do with computers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what about the other subjects? They also like they have stat- statistics. Yeah. Yeah, business method. So that one is quite the challenge, challenge, challenge. I would mm-hmm. say the threat for some many students, you know. I think earlier on you've mentioned um, the subjects requirement from high school yeah. that helps you in terms of what you're studying right now. Yeah. Looking back at the subjects you've mentioned now, human resources, computers, and business, and yeah. stats, which high school subjects can you look back at and you think, well, okay, this has been... This has, knowing this from high school yeah. has become sort of beneficial for me yeah. in the subject. Which subjects can you track back or mention from your high school days? It's business so studies. Far? It's business studies because also in that moment we have a you know, business studies. Mm-hmm. So we deal with, there are some business operations like yeah. also in primary, you know, in high school, I'm sorry. We have a business study and also deal with the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I find it easy. Even now it's not a trade that much I know. <laughs> pass, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's basically a revision for you. Yeah, yeah. It's just more days. It's like, I mean, like, there is also, like, new things that I'm learning, but it's yeah. sort of really a challenge for me. That's, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So you heard that from Mr. Uh, for, from AJ. You, if you work hard in high school, it will become easy in varsity. It at definitely, least in your first year. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, uh, follow up. Next question is, how long does one have to study this course? And... To also break it down um, with the amount of years and mm. what are the structure like from first year, second year to third year? If uh, you could elaborate on that, how long does one have to study this course? And what might be the focus that you're focusing currently this year and next year? I mean, like, oh, this is all three years. Yeah, it's, it's only three years. Okay. Then after that, you can also like proceed and do it advanced because this one is only like the, you know, the diploma. Yeah. You know, so like if you do, you want to do advanced, you can also do it advanced, you know, so. Awesome. Awesome. Three years. That's not, that's not uh, it's, forever. It's yeah, very quick. Yeah. Because even now, like in my yeah. mind, I'm like, okay, I'm left with two years. Even though yes. I, did, I, I haven't finished this one, but I like, I only have left with two years yes. now. So like the main thing, the main goal is just to pass. Yes. You know, I don't want to repeat any module. You know, that's my goal. I don't want to repeat any module. So I don't want to know, to graduate on time also. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Graduate on time and with, with uh, cum laude, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so you said the advance, advance. How long is it advance? I'm really not sure about the advance, but you... You'll get there. Yeah, you, I will get there also. Because I wanted to do advanced, just to try, like, to see, mm. work out things, you know. Because I, I don't want to just to, you know, to limit myself, you know, because I know as a HR, mm-hmm. to do a HR, like, to get a job also is quite, like, a uh, challenge. Like, it's not easy. I would say that it's not easy, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know. So, like, okay, I just want to be a little bit different from other students. Yes. Let me just do it advanced. Because my plan, I just want to do it advanced. You want to push yourself. Yeah. Okay, we've dealt a lot with um, the structure and the course itself. Let's speak about student life. How would you describe uh, wow. a regular day on campus, being a student or a regular day at RES? 
No, I'll, say, I'll start with the regular day eat campus. Mm-hmm. I just go around the campus, you know, just go around, <laughs> like, just looking at the people. You know, if I'm meeting my classmates, just mm-hmm. have some conversation also and go to the library. Mm-hmm. Just chill in the library, not really like a studying, but just chill and then just think, you know, get rest. There's not much like, I yeah. just want to like, okay, go out, go to the mall and just go into the park. That's how like, I do fun thing. It's quite routine. You just, you just love your life there. Study, yeah, yeah, yeah. do whatever you like to do and just yeah. push. Yeah. And um, I know that some universities have many um, societies and other yeah, yeah, extracurricular yeah. activities. Does your university have extracurricular activities? If they do, are you part of any of them? Sorry, I didn't for that question, sorry. You see, ex- extracurricular, some universities have extracurricular activities like others have got sports, others have got debate yeah. society, others have got, um, um, maybe there's like a glee club, a book yeah. club. Does your university offer those? Or if yes, are you part of any? Yeah, they do. They yeah. have some. I mean, like the sports, um, mm-hmm. football. But I'm not part of those things. Like, I don't really, like, I don't even pay attention. I don't know a lot, but I know what they are. Yeah. You know, the grammar also. But I'm not part of them. I don't even participate in them. I don't have an interest, basically. <laughs> yeah. you're, 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 you're fully focused on studying, yeah, academic, yeah. and nothing else. Nah, nah. <laughs> Just try to find myself there. So with that, what do you do for fun um, apart from just studying and enjoying your life as a student? What do you do for fun outside your mm. life as a student? I love going out a lot. Mm. And I love like shopping. Mm. You know, I mean, like we in the CPT, so the nice building, taking pictures, yeah. also, going around the Cape Town, you know. So yeah, that's what I do for fun. And also because I'm also planning to, you know, to play basketball, you know, just to have fun, you know, mm-hmm. to have fun, buy a skateboard, and like just have fun. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Uh, clearly showing that it's not just about studying, it's just about living the life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, how do you compare, you know, living the life on, uh, at Ray's right now, mm-hmm. you know, your first year, compared to when you were living with a, with, with a family, with the folks, and mm-hmm. now you being on your own and fending for yourself, how are you, are you coping? And how are you managing? Yeah, I am coping because um, I, I think I said this thing, okay, the, this groceries, mm. you know. So like when I was living with my parents, I didn't <laughs> worry about groceries. <laughs> I just this challenge, hey, living this life. But now since I'm in raised, now yeah. I have to buy groceries for myself, you know, and also the, to be able to manage my money, to use my money mm. useful, you know. So hey, like I'm, I'm, I'll say like I'm coping because I have some, Especially when I'm cooking. Yeah. I just cook like uh simple stuff. You mm-hmm. know, simple stuff. If I'm buying eggs, I just do eggs, you know. Yeah, so So it's helping you. Um when you uh, are you living okay, I, let me let me let me structure this question. Well when normally when people live on a race, they either stay in a room alone or they share a room with someone, right? Yeah. Meaning that you're beginning to learn new people and different yeah, people. Yeah. Uh, that's in some to some degree it's a form of networking mm. um how are you dealing with that you know meeting new people and are there people so far that you have created relationship with or bonds so far like wow okay i've learned this from this person mm. maybe tomorrow when i want to do this i can go to that person yeah have you created created some form of network so far if yes could you give an example of one or two? Yeah, but well, I mean, like we, me and my roommate, we have like a good relationship. Mm-hmm. I also learned something from that guy. I've noticed that guy is a really hard worker. Yeah. You know, he's a very serious student. You know, so that's what I learned. And also like we have a good relationship. You know, it's a Zulu guy. You know, so I'm also learning something. Like, hey, this Zulu guy is like, you know, so that's what I learned. And there are also like some other guys from the building that I know. Yes. If like I have some difficulties with the, you know, with my, my mo- homeworks, mm. you know, I just go straight them. We have just a, in our flow, we just have a good relationship with those guys. Like, yes. yeah, it's really nice. Like it's only chance, like, you know, chance <laughs> life, you know, like it's really cool. <laughs> I know, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, um, how is your university, how can you, okay, how do you consider 
that uh, your university has prepared you or is preparing you for the future based on your experience so far? How am I visit? Sorry, you say? Okay. How do you think that your university, CPUT, mm. and the course that you're studying uh, is preparing you for the future based on your experience being a student so far? I mean, like, uh, I'm still a first year, first year student. Mm. So they're just giving us like the emojis. Okay, guys, I'll just go look for work just to get the work experience. Yeah. You know, so there's not much. You know, maybe since like I'm still a first year student, maybe when I get to the third year or on the second one, they, that's where like they will go in detail, like preparing us for them, for our future. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's like once you get to um second year and third year, the vision will become more clear and you'll see it in higher resolution. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Next question is, you mentioned that you are a book lover. You're a guy who wants yeah. to achieve your goals and study. <laughs> yeah, your study didn't pass it. Could you kindly share with us what is your routine? What do you do? Because I know that others, for them, it could be wake up at four o'clock, go to the gym at six, study at yeah. eight, go to class, at this time sleep. What is your routine yeah. and what keeps you going? My routine is it goes like, like I know back at six o'clock yeah. every day, no matter like I know, but six o'clock, anything that has to do with schoolwork, I have to do it until around 10 to 11. That's where like, okay, this time I'm sleeping. I don't touch anything. Like I'm going to sleep mm -hmm. to my bed. So like um, on Mondays, I have a class that started at 11, you know, to, no, to, no, to two. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I just go back to my rest and then rest six o'clock. I'm starting to do my schoolwork yeah. until 10. Yeah. But that's, that's my yeah, daily that's routine. Daily routine. Yeah. Awesome. Um, to keep a daily routine, or to be as motivated as you are, there need to be something, yeah, you know, definitely. substance that keeps you definitely. pushing. Okay, what is that one thing for you in life that you could cons you would consider as the main thing that keeps you going? What do you think is that one thing that keeps you going to want to achieve? Wow, I mean, like, me in the person, I just like good stuff, like good things. <laughs> so the only thing, like, okay, I need to work hard, you yes. know, to build the life that <laughs> I want to live. And then this is the one thing that I because these guys also do motivational speakers. They say, okay, wake up or do this. <laughs> okay. I mean, my man, we are broke. I mean, like, Andrew Tate, like, I always like listen to that guy, like, Andrew Tate. You know, something like, no, I need to be a guy who's really rich, like, we have money. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yeah. So that is what I like, my push, the thing that is motivating me to keep pushing, to keep pushing. 100%. 100%. Mm. I love that. I've seen a study of scientists actually, yeah. now we're speaking, where they mention uh, <coughs> where they put a rat, right? Yeah. And in the rat, put a, 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 a cat yeah. behind the rat, and the rat was running fast. They say sometimes you just need to run away from something. Yeah. And you don't want to, <laughs> yeah, you, you are running away from a broke life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, um, um, do you have any practical advice for someone who's currently in high school and don't know what to study and are thinking about uh, considering maybe to go into human resource? Yeah. Have you got any advice for, for them? I mean, like, my advice is like, okay, do like do it with a course that you know, okay, like you love it. Mm -hmm. Because if you love it, you basically like you do well on that course. Yeah. yeah well, but if there's no love for that course, obviously you'll be lacking and then you don't you, like you don't like the lecture, yeah. like, you don't like the course and everything. So like obviously you will fail that course. You know, so find something like okay, I love I think I love love this course and then go straight for it. You know, don't mm -hmm. go like I mean like in high school there's this pressure. I'm, I'm going to do it for e e teaching. Then also, like, you know, I want to do a teaching. Then you get to teaching, you realize, okay, you know what? I'm in the wrong space here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so do something that you know, okay, I love this thing and I'll definitely I'll do well. Yeah, that's what my advice for these young guys. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do something that you love and yeah. uh, you know that you'll do well, as you said. Um, last question. Any future plans? Any future plans? Uh, right now, like, my... Cole, I just want to pass this. <laughs> yeah. like the future thing. <laughs> the future thing. Mine, I was like, I just want to do well in this, uh, no, this course. Yes. You know, that's my goal. Okay, I just mm -hmm. want to pass and see life afterward. You know. Awesome. Yeah. Just pass and see life afterwards. No, yeah. <laughs> I just want to pass life. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much, Mr. AJ. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Oh, it's, it's yeah. a great honor to yeah. interview you as well. Yeah. I mean, you have been a mouthful. Um, 
I've just learned one thing. Yeah. Don't be too distracted with what's coming in the future. Just yeah. focus now focus. and make sure that you yeah. succeed in, in what yeah. in the present. That's what I've yeah. learned from you. Yeah. And you have been a mouthful. Yeah. And, and yeah. also like um I want to just say this thing. When you go to varsity, know why you're in varsity. Mm. I mean, like when you go to university, like there's so much like disruption, like the many things. Yeah. There are some good looking ladies. There are some different people from other tribes also. <laughs> so if like your own focus, because they you know these guys, they will just want to go to varsity. Yes. And then like this want to have fun, this fun life in varsity. Yeah. You no know, girls like drinking, all this type of thing. Mm. Just go to varsity and know why you're in varsity. Yeah. Once you get there and then, okay. And also avoid like comparing yourself. You know, with other people try to cope or to try to fit in yeah you know because i mean like there are some things like they're living like a soft life mm-hmm. you know so try to avoid those into distraction basically know your why yeah why are you there you know why am, why am i here even. because the only thing yeah. you just want to get away from our parents then mm-hmm. we do it we know now we're free we do anything <laughs> yeah, well, once you're like now no, i'm free now okay i'll do yeah. anything you know okay yeah, you sleep around the rest so now avoid that okay, no way to why are you invested <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. Know your why and make it count. <laughs> yeah, no why. <laughs> so yeah, sir. Like I said, thank you so much. And you have been a mouthful. It has been a yeah. uh, blessing having you here. Definitely. And thank you. Yet the K podcast. We are yeah. always uh, happy when we see people achieve the goals and mm-hmm. they grow. And yeah. hopefully one of these days, one day when we will get you again and we might interview as a professional, definitely, as a big guy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> definitely we are going there. <laughs> so thank you. And we just want to sign off by saying peace. Thank you. Thank you. It's one of you. Like, sure. You know, like great experience. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for listening to this episode. I appreciate you taking time and tuning in and be part of our community. We get to share ideas, stories, and perspectives through this podcast. I hope you enjoyed it and found something valuable in it. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friends. I look forward to connecting with you in the next episode. Until then, take care. This is Stega Podcast signing out. See you next time.